My name's Charles Jones. Uh, I've been with Puckett Machinery now for uh, 22 years, 23 in August. I'm currently the field service supervisor where I have six personnel under me. I've got five field service trucks that do mechanic work. This particular rig behind me is primarily a uh, mobile boring rig uh, where we do machine fabrication, welding, and line boring services. We are the Caterpillar dealer uh, for the lower 42 counties in southern Mississippi. We are a full service Caterpillar dealer. We do uh, machine sales, rental services, and product support uh, for the complete Caterpillar product line. We do a lot of work internally for our rental fleet. Uh, we do stuff for customers. We work on uh, non-cat as well. So we do a lot of work on Komatsu, deer, you know, whatever they need, we try to accommodate. This particular rig, most of the time, customers call in with uh, worn stick bucket linkages, uh, blade linkages. Uh, we go in, come in, do line boring work on those. We also do welding. Some of our customers that come in and want us to, to fabricate or make some, some different tooling or stuff for them, we can also accomplish that as well. We will go out of state because a lot of our customers will travel out of state. Generally, we do Louisiana, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi. It's kind of the range. Most of the time when you go to these site locations, you're in not optimal conditions. So have a, a vehicle or a tool body that works for you and not against you is, is a great asset. It's a heavier built body than the other ones. I've got two of the maintainer bodies in my fleet here. The cranes work better. When you have to do boring on blades or center sections, a lot of times you have to either split the machine or take the blades off. We have done some equalizer bar stuff where you have to pull roller frames and that kind of stuff. So uh, on this particular unit, it's mostly disassembling assembly information or, or type work. But overall, like I said, this is the biggest crane I've got in my fleet. It works well and pretty much does anything we need it to do. Most of our companies that we work for now are very safety conscious. So the more safety features you have, the better. A lot of sites, if you're not safety compliant, they won't let you on site. Having the safety features on the rig allows us to get in and do work on sites where that's very critical. It's got the LED lighting inside the toolboxes, uh, lights it up very well. The external lights, if we're having to work early in the morning or late uh, at night, those also provide sufficient light to do what we need. The overall functionality and usability, the guys just really like these better. <laughs>